All right, guys, another video where I'm gonna show you how to draw this on the iPad using Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, let's get into this. I'm gonna do things a little bit different today. Usually I like to use the pen tool when I'm using Adobe Illustrator for iPad just so I can sketch things out. But today I wanna to mix it up, so I just wanna use shapes today. So we're gonna do a hand and like a basketball, like the basketball spinning on the hand. Uh, so let's get into it. So I'm going to start with the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw out a little rectangle, make it look like a little hot dog. This is going to be the finger. Um, I'm going to fill it in for now. Actually, I'm not going to fill it in for now. I'm going to increase the stroke just a little bit. We'll start with like 20. It doesn't matter. I'll come back and adjust all this, but we're just going to start with that and we're going to duplicate this. We're going to grab it and move it. And I'm going to shrink this a little bit, put it where I need. I'll actually probably come back through and uh, adjust a lot of this, but for now, this is how we're going to start. So we're going to do this again, duplicate it. I'm going to drag this one down. Okay. And then I'm going to do it one more time. Actually, I don't want this one. I'm going to duplicate this one. All right. And I'm going to shrink this because this is the pinky, so it's going to be a good bit smaller. All right, I wanna line all three of these up. So we'll go to the align tool, align to the top. Perfect. And I wanna make sure they're all the same uh, stroke weight. It'll look kind of funky if they're not. And I'm gonna make sure they're all fully rounded. Looks like they are. Okay, cool. So now this one's looking good. Now I need to do the thumb. So I'm gonna grab this little finger here. I know it doesn't look like a finger, but it will, trust me. I'm gonna hold my shift tool, rotate it like 45 degrees. This is where I'm gonna start adding the color in because it's hard for me to see what's overlapping and what's not. So I want this one all the way to the top. So I'll drag that to the top. And this is the thumb, so it's gonna be a little bit fatter, right? Because that's what thumbs do, right? A little bit fatter. Uh, make sure it's fully rounded. Okay, let's see. And I think this one needs to be a little longer. All right, I think that's looking good right there. Essentially what we want is we want like this shape right here where the it's going to be like the balls going to be spinning on the finger. So that's what I'm trying to achieve right here. And I just want to make sure this is the right size. That looks good. Okay. Great. This is looking good. So next what I want to do is I want to grab my rectangle tool again. And whoops. I want to draw a rectangle. That's going to cover the span of this. Make sure it all lines up. Looks like that lines up. Perfect. Throw this to the back. Alrighty, and I'm going to bend my bottom edges ever so slightly. I think that looks good. I can always come back and adjust this, so it's not that big of a deal. And now what I'm going to do, it's going to blow your mind, but I'm going to combine all of this. And so now that I'm seeing it, I actually think I need to make this pointer finger just a little bit longer before I end up combining all of it. Doesn't seem to want to be... Here we go. Okay. I was like, what's going on here? So that's looking or about the right size we're here make sure everything's nice and bent the way i want it all right and you should start seeing where we're going with this it's it's gonna be a hand so here's where the magic happens i'm going to combine the uh the pointer finger and this the palm right i'm going to go to my pathfinder tool and i'm going to combine all convert to pad boom now they combined i'm going to make sure they're all the same width still too so we want them to be 20. So now it starts looking right, like it starts looking like a hand. So what's funky, as you see, is the thumb is disconnected from the palm. That doesn't make any sense, right? So now I need to make it make sense. So I'm gonna grab the thumb, and I'm gonna grab the palm, and I'm gonna come over to my Shape Builder tool, and I'm just going to slice right here. So that slices it right here, and that's good. And I could honestly leave it this way, but I think I could actually make it a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to grab my thumb and I'm going to duplicate, drag it down here. And there's a cool little function on the direct selection tool right here uh, that I can do. It's this little scissors. So we'll click that and that just disconnects everything, uh, which is what I want. So I'll grab all these again. Let me do one more thing. Actually, before I disconnect, I'm going to grab my eraser tool and I'm going to just slice it right here. Actually, it's a little far. Let me slice right there. I don't need this anymore delete and now I'm going to do that little uh, scissors tool right here 
don't need this line so we'll delete that don't need this delete that too and in all of these we want to be connected again because that's the thumb so back to the direct selection tool click this little uh, dot with the arrow that'll put them all back together I can come to my properties panel round the edges right here and let's put this back where it was going that may have been a little confusing hopefully that made sense to you guys um, I know that could be a little confusing but now we can delete this and see what it just did this created this thumb for me but it's disconnected which is what I wanted all right, so I'm actually going to, again, make sure all the strokes are the same, 20. All right, so this is all looking good. The more I look at it, I think I need to extend this pinky just a touch. I think it was a little bit too far. And then maybe I could throw this one up just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's making a little bit more sense. Okay, what I want to do next is I want to add uh, the this little like round part right here, so the part of the palm. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to grab my ellipse tool. I'm just going to draw a little circle right here and I'm going to throw it behind all this. I'm going to make sure it makes sense. Make sure it's in the right spot. Maybe a little bit bigger. I think that makes sense. Make sure it's 20 point. I'll go to my property, type in 20. Perfect. And now I'm just going to delete what I don't want. All right, this is turning out exactly how I wanted it. It's going pretty quick too, honestly. I mean, just with some simple shapes, we already got a nice little hand right here. Uh, I'm going to shrink this a little bit so I can have room for our basketball. And I'm going to go to my layers panel. I'm going to add a new layer. I want to add a background on here because I'm tired of looking at the white artboard. So we're going to throw a background in here. Perfect. Now this needs to be at the bottom, right? Because I want it to be behind. And we'll make this like a tan. I think that'll be nice. So... Just some kind of like darker tan. And I'm going to actually lock this layer because we don't need to use it anymore. So we'll lock that. All right, so we're back on the hand layer. Now I want to add like a wrist strap. Since we're playing, it's going to be like basketball, right? I think like in the 80s, that was a popular thing. These little uh, wrist guards. I don't even know what they're called, but we're going to add one. We're going to we're gonna add one on here. I'm going to bring it in a little bit more because the wrist is obviously going to be a little bit thinner than the hand, right? So I put the zoom out a little bit. I think that's looking good. Uh, make sure we're at 20 point stroke. Great. So let's change this, the color of this. I think I want to do like an orange. Cool. I think that looks nice right there. I want to add two little like white stripes just to make it a little bit more sporty. So I duplicate this layer and then I put the uh, top layer on no fill. So now I just have a stroke going around the top. Then I can grab my rectangle tool. I can draw a little line. Switch that, let's make it white. Perfect. And let's do it one more time, duplicate, and we'll bring that down here. And I wanna make sure these are exactly in the middle, which they are, it looks like. Grab the bottom layer, Shape Builder tool, and we'll just cut these off right here. We'll group this, and just throw it backwards. Perfect, now we have a nice little uh, striped wristband all right so i want to extend the arm this part's going to be super easy we're just going to grab uh, the rectangle tool again let me grab this guy we'll grab the rectangle tool and we'll just draw a nice little wrist nothing crazy here and now you should see it should make a lot of sense here right it's just a little wrist i'll add some more details here in a second but next what i want to do is i want to get the basketball on here so let's go to the top let's make a new layer Let's grab my ellipse tool. Let's draw this out. I want it to make sense, so it needs to be the right size, right? It's gonna go above the artboard, that's okay. Cause I can come back through and crop it, it's not a big deal. I think that's looking about the right size, probably, okay, something like that. It's probably a little bit bigger or smaller than it should be, but that's all right, it's just a fun little illustration It doesn't have to be perfect. So I want this to be orange, right? Because it's a basketball. So let's use the same orange that we used right here. That's looking good. Now I'm going to duplicate this uh, circle, pull it to the side. So what I want to do here is a shape builder tool again. As you notice, we use the shape builder tool a lot. It's a very important tool. So now I got a side of the basketball. Let's take this, duplicate it. And let's throw it all the way to the other side. 
it's an it's a perfect circle so should work perfectly now what i want to do is i want to add a perfect line down the middle let's line this up in the middle perfect let's take this and duplicate it we're going to rotate it 180 degrees line it up again all right now i can take this and i can shape build again don't need that don't need that not that or that and we can go ahead and group this again and now we have our basketball perfect size that we need i can move this around all right i've got everything looking good i've got the hand drawn i've got the basketball made so now i'm going to come through and i'm going to start adding some highlights and shadows so to do that i'm going to come over here grab a new layer i'm going to grab my pen tool and i'm going to change this color to black i don't want a stroke on this and everywhere where there might be a shadow, I'm just gonna draw a shadow. We're gonna pretend that the light source is coming from the top left and hitting the bottom right. So all my shadows should be around like the bottom right area, unless there's like an object casting the shadow, right? So uh, I'm gonna probably fast forward through this part and we'll make the shadows. All right, so I got my shadows drawn, so I'll come back to my shadow layer right here. I've got them all selected, and I can just drop this opacity. We'll drop it to like 40% maybe. And that casts nice little shadows. All right, so I've got all my shadows in a good place, but I just realized I didn't add any fingernails. So I'm going to go ahead and add those real quick. All I'm going to do is take this little uh, pinky right here. I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to erase... With my rectangle tool, I'm just going to slice this right here. So grab the rectangle, grab these two, Pathfinder, and we're going to minus front. And so this will be my fingernail, actually. So I'm going to make this width like 8, maybe. Let me go to properties. Make that 8. 8 point, perfect. Let's round it off a little bit. Let's change the fill of this to like white. Actually, let's do like a lighter blue. White would be weird. Now we're just gonna make this a lot smaller. And I'll just put this where they would go. All right, I got the fingernails in there. So now, just like the shadows, I'm gonna come back through, I'm gonna add another layer. So one more layer, and this is gonna be for the highlights. So just like I did with the shadows, I'm gonna grab my pencil tool, but this time I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm just gonna draw anywhere where a, a highlight might be hitting. All right, I got all my highlights selected. Again, we're just gonna drop that opacity. And now we got our nice little highlights. Some of them I might wanna drop a little bit farther, like this highlight on the basketball. It doesn't need to be that bright. Well guys, here you go. A fun little monster hand spinning a basketball. I think this one turned out really cool. I think it's stylized and fun. We also just use shapes on this one, so you don't have to have any drawing skills or anything, and you can still come out with something cool like this. Well guys, that's all I got for you. If you followed along, please share this with me on Instagram or tag me. I'd love to see it. And if you like the video, you already know what to do. Until the next one, guys. Peace.